Alrighty, you guys, I'm here at Crawler Space RC in the Crawler Course area with the new Bronco. I do want to point out, though, there's something wrong with mine. It is on currently, but the second I turn it off into the off position, it starts driving. I don't know what's going on. But the second I plugged it in, it started doing that, and it started to smell like burning in there. So I think I'm going to need to <laughs> contact somebody about that, see see what's up. But if I just leave it on and just plug it in and unplug it from this, I think we're all right. But I just want to run on their little crawler course here. Well, now it's not driving in this position. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome to CCXRC. Yes, I did just smoke an ESC right out of the box. We'll talk about that. I'm outside here. It's a beautiful day in Michigan. Finally, we're getting some good weather. I'm gonna get outside. It's still really muddy. I can only come like one path through the yard because you go anywhere over there and you're gonna be a couple inches down in, in mud and uh, ruining your shoes. So uh, still waiting for it to dry up here. It will dry up here. And then we're gonna really start bashing stuff. I'm gonna have to rebuild the course, get my tractor over there. But with this, we did smoke the ESC on the initial plug-in. You can actually see the burn mark right there. Look at that, right there. And um, I plugged it in, I started smelling something. I thought it was just that I'd plugged it in while I was on, turned it off, what I thought was off. I unplugged it, walked in the store, plugged it in again, as you're seeing here in the video, and it's going backwards, so I flip it, and then the lights come on. So something wasn't wired up right in here. Something was going wrong. Um, I will say that Dave at uh, Crawler Space RC hooked me up. He had one that he had done as in um, kind of a warranty, and he'd put a new one in. He bought himself a new one, put it in, and so he sold me his warranty one so I could keep up and running. But he also has some on the shelf just in case anybody has theirs burn up. You can buy them there if you need them. Uh, which they're hard to find right now. They're out of stock most places. So if you need it, look up Dave at Crawler Space RC. Anyway, I wanted to say, I show you guys this stuff because we should. Um, you know, especially if we're content creators. And when we have problems, we should show you guys the problems that we're having. Because when you have problems, you'll realize you're not the only one. Sometimes it can feel like that. Like, I got the crap when nobody else has something that goes wrong with theirs. Well, guess what? Right out of the box, mine smoked itself. So um, yeah, it would have been a bummer if I wasn't there and I couldn't get another one. Uh, but I reached out to Horizon, they're sending me a new one of these. Um, and I'm sure, you know, these are out of stock right now. I'm sure if it's like your only RC, you just bought it. I'm sure they'd warranty the whole car out. You send it back to them, they ship you a new one because these, uh, these are out of stock right now. They're hard to get your hands on. So I didn't need one right now. I just told them, just send me the ESC. I don't need another car. I don't want to ship mine in. Um, because I already got it fixed for now. But um, yeah, I just want you guys to know that I show you this stuff. We showed you the STX-6. We show you whenever we kind of encounter little problems like this along the way. It's best to just be up front, let people know that it happens. So their experience won't think that everything's rosy and peachy all the time, you know? there's It's a hobby. There's, you know, just like anything in real life. You know, my brother just got a new camper and somebody in the building process didn't plumb one of the... Uh, there's no hoses from the water to go to one of the showers. So, uh, you know, crazy stuff like that happens. It's not, it's not just in the RC world. It happens all throughout life. You can get a lemon, you guys. So, um, but they're taking care of it. And so that's good. Let's get to the crawl footage and then we'll talk about what we think of this thing. All right, so that was a fried ESC. Dave uh, just got me another one here. Sold me real quick. I will turn the other one in and see if I can get a replacement for it. And then I can hook somebody else up in the future. Oh, I've still got to learn how these handle with the weight. And I did, redu I did reduce the weight. And we put on the Proline tires. And I gotta clean this up a bit. I'm gonna chew this up. Big old reverse city there. There it goes. 
<laughs> Definitely leaning. Get my hand ready. If it falls off, I don't want to. I don't want to kill it. Little wheel speed, get up and over. On little course though. That's a change in the terrain here. Let's go for one of these cool bridges. Let's do the wood one. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna see if I can change shot position and still count for class one. I don't think so. I think we can get a little more flex without any upgrades, just moving the, the location. Gets narrow there at the end. Reverse and head up the other one here if we can. Take a, a few resets to get on that. Thought I might do an axle hang on that, and I got lucky. These are sized perfectly for the scale. Little Holmes Hobby downward drop. nice. I think there used to be a way up there. Now there's a marker. Oh, don't go. The verdict is out on the hard body. I love the detail, but is it worth the performance hit? Now again, I would need to try driving another scale stock truck because I'm so used to mine with the long shocks and long travel and maybe the other one would have rolled in that same spot, I don't know. This even looks sketchy here, it's not that bad, there we go. I think the stock driving experience is definitely something to get used to again. So used to the brassed out stuff with extra weight down low, big huge tires on it, long travel shocks, all kinds of upgrades. So I think once we learn what the tipping point is, like we're very close to it I think here, It'll help us be able to run them better without tipping as much. We should be able to drive out of that. There we go. Cool. Definitely a lot better with some of the added weight removed and especially in the rear right here. Alrighty, so as you can see, it didn't handle like I expected it to because my expectations have changed now that I've done so much with the brass upgrades on all of my trucks. I've gone brushless with them all, uh, big tires, weighted tires, all, you know, not, not weighted tires, like brass wheels, lots of low down weight, long shocks, long travel shocks. I'm just not used to how it handles. So it's really hard for me to say how it compares to other stock trucks because unfortunately i haven't been driving stock trucks 
Um, and in the end, I started kind of realizing what the limitations were and kind of approaching things differently. But if you've got set up gates, you don't get to choose your approach on certain uh, certain hills. So um, I am going to be testing it. I did buy another SCX24 Jeep to run stock so I can get a comparison between the stock handling of this hard body versus the Lexan to kind of give you guys my thoughts. I did get another one, the Jeep. The reason I got the Jeep is because it has the same ESC and that's a big deal. These, This new electronic system in these, uh, other than this one getting smoked, <laughs> is awesome. Like it's so much smoother and it's such a good experience uh, for driving with a brushed motor compared to uh, the version one. So the bummer is that you can't do it as just a, a receiver. Uh, it's a little bit of a drawback, but it gives you more options for brushed motors and going smooth and controlled. So that's plus. It could save you some money. Um, I'm going to mention it here. Uh, I've got a, a baby Goliath motor I'm working on. We're doing testing on some samples that I had. Um, I sent them kind of the specs that I wanted. And I want it to be like a comp brush motor that I can use that'll keep it slow, just enough you know, speed to be able to get up the things that we have to, um, the hills that we have to get over, but really like focusing in on that low end torque power of it. So um, you guys will see that coming hopefully soon. I'm liking how it's handling. I've got a few other people that are gonna be testing it and um, you'll see that come into the channel here very soon. Um, we're kind of waiting on it, debating if this is the one or not, or if I need to go back and change um, like the RPMs that I want and things like that out of it. So, but right now I'm kind of happy with it. I want to get other uh, perspectives on it. I want to see if these things can handle 3S through it and see what happens. I want to be able to do that over a kind of a period of time to see, uh, you know, cause everything seems like it can do 3S for a little bit of time, but what if you kind of run it like that for a little while, can the ESC handle it? It's not rated for it. Um, and then the motor itself. So those are things I want to see. I could gear up and get like a Lizard Pro or something else to run the brush from that can handle 3S. Uh, but then again, you're increasing cost and all that. So um, yeah, we're just we're just testing stuff and playing with stuff, guys. Thanks for tuning in as always. Have fun RCing and we'll catch you in the next video, all right? See ya.